Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. Uh, today, just a quick unboxing. Um, nothing too crazy. Like I said, just a quick unboxing. I got this. It's been the the latest thing. And of course, I have to have one. Uh, winter season, you know what that means. Yes, it's a whoop. Well, call it what you want. Whoop or no whoop. Uh, it is a brushless. And you might have heard of it. We are going to open it up. I haven't even opened it up yet, and I've got a Good Venture Drones. I did get this from good, GoodVentureDrones.com uh, here in the United States. Um, they had a great deal on it, and and it was here in the U.S., so perfect. Uh, GoodVentureDrones.com came with a sticker and a little thank you candy. That's cute. I, I love candies. I don't need them, though. I just have like a stack of FPV candies. Whatever. Anyway, cool sticker. Awesome. I'll put that, uh, you know, somewhere cool. And then let's see, our invoice. Ooh, another sticker. Cool, two stickers. And, of course, what do we have here? The Happy Model Mobula 7. Yes, the Mobula. Mobula, Mobula. I'm calling it Mobula, so call it whatever you want. All right, here we go. I, have, I just opened this. I haven't opened it at all yet. Yes, this is the Mobula 7, the 2S Whoop. Do they say Whoop? It does say Whoop. 2S Whoop. Go get them. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, this is the uh, FR Sky basic version. Um, there is two different versions, standard version and basic version. One of them comes with a uh, multi-charger, and one of them just comes with a little... Uh, oh, we'll see. You'll see. You'll see in a second. Boom. All right. Oh man, I can't wait to rip this thing around. This thing is going to get beat up. Alright, so uh, Happy Model has provided us with one of these awesome... I love these. They're they're just... it's Anyone can purchase one of these and, and pretty much go through it and figure out what they're doing and how to, how to put two and two together with one of these. Uh, it's pretty much your, your layout um, for your Tyrannus, when you're going to set your Tyrannus up. Yeah, all that cool stuff. You'll see when you buy it. Basically, how to set it up in your Tyrannus and how to get everything going just in one page here, which I think is pretty awesome. So, yeah, and they got little picture layouts telling you exactly what to do in Betaflight. That's so cool. Anyway, on with the model. <coughs> all right, so we have uh, some little screws in there, uh, one set of props. Um, I, I will be needing a lot more of these props. I don't know about you, but just go ahead and order yourself. They're 40 millimeter props. Go ahead and order a ton of them because I'm going to break them. Oh, look. In the videos um, that you previously may have seen of the Mobula, uh, they talk about um, cutting off one of the uh, supply cables here, uh, cutting the leads. And so that you can hook it up to a 1S. And they show how to build those wires with the little cable. Well, look, they have provided that little wire. So now I don't have to make one. I planned on making one, but good thing I didn't because it came with one. So now you can just slap this on there. It uh, cuts off the one end, and then you can plug it up as a 1S, and you're good to go. Oh, look, it comes with batteries all in it already? I didn't even notice that. I'm sitting here holding this quad in my hand, and I haven't even talked about it yet. I'm talking about this little thing. Anyway, let's put that down. Okay, so little little screws, little screwdriver, prop tool, props, you know. Ah, oh, this thing. On to this thing. Oh, adjustable camera. I mean, who would have thought on a little whoop like this you could adjust the camera? That's amazing. I don't know. I don't. I'm so. I don't want to break it. I'm so used to just breaking my whoops. Hmm. All right. So it is a, a little notchy, but it does adjust very easily. If you can see that, it's a little not so smooth, but just a little notchy. But that's good. Uh, the canopy seems pretty pretty sturdy. It's got these little holes cut out uh, for the antenna here, which I've heard 
A um, couple of things about the antenna. I don't think I'm going to have any problems with it, but I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I don't plan on uh, racing it too fast, so uh, you know I'm going to keep my my camera tilt, you know, pretty pretty low, not too high. I don't plan on going too fast. Uh, let's see these motors. Uh, they all seem to be okay at the moment until I start bashing them. Uh, it does come with four one uh, S250s. Um, obviously, that's only two packs. Considering that, uh, well, you can fly at one S if you really want to, but who wants to do that? Um, so yeah, you can uh, get two flights out of it basically with these two 250 milliamp hour um, high volts. By the way, high volts, and it does come with this little charger here which I don't know it's a 1S USB charger high volt so I'm guessing you just flip the switch here if you want it to be standard and then again for the high volt I'm assuming but we'll figure it out it can't be that hard one switch one USB oh I'm dropping quads um, alright that seems to be yeah it comes with another another set of these which these are nice with the little cables on the end. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to get some of these. Yeah, I know I didn't order any. Uh, anything else? Nothing hiding under the foam. But yeah, it does come in this little, this little foam thing. I mean, you could maybe create a a case with this foam. Hmm, that's a good idea. Maybe I just cut that out. Anyway, another video. Uh, but yes, that was just a quick unboxing, letting you guys know what the uh, Mobula 7 came with, uh, what it looks like. Um, personally, what I think about it, um, I think I'm going to break this frame. Uh, just with looking at it at, in the first, you know, five minutes of having it. Um, I know how I fly my whoops, and I'm sure how you all know how you fly your whoops. And in saying that, I'm definitely going to have to purchase another one of these frames, if not upgrade it uh, maybe to a beta frame. I, I like their frames. They're very sturdy. Uh, they take a lot of beatings, and I enjoy that because I like beating it up. Um, yeah, it does come with this little um, 3D printed insert. It's already on there, so be careful when you pull these batteries out because it will fall out. Uh, if you want to reverse... Uh, your motors, just do it with the tabs here. Just flip these, flip those. Um, Albert Kim has a video where he reverses the motors, says he got rid of a little bit of prop wash with some reverse motors. Uh, so if you do that, just make sure to flip your flip your props. But anyway, uh, I think the Mobula 7 is going to be good for me. I'm definitely going to bash it a little bit. So uh, I'm going to post some flight footage. Uh, but that's it for now. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, will leave a link uh, for the Mobula 7. Um, it's been out of stock in a lot of places, so I'll try to find the most updated stock. If not, uh, just go ahead and check AdventureDrones.com. And thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Mobula 7.